Olivia Rodrigo makes history as the first female artist to do this. Olivia Rodrigo has been breaking records since 2021. This has been an amazing year for the 18-year-old singer. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how Olivia Rodrigo has created history. Stay tuned. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. By now, we already know how incredible Olivia Rodrigo's debut album Sour is. And while it's just been over a week since the album launched, she's already made history multiple times. We know Olivia Rodrigo's new album was going to make a splash in the music industry as soon as we saw her massive success with her debut single, Driver's License. But as time went on and she dropped two more singles from her album, her talent and songwriting skills were completely undeniable. And with that came more insane history making success for a new artist like Olivia. She performed at the British SNL and now days after her first album dropped. Billboard revealed that her single, Good For You, also debuted at number one on the charts. And reaching number one once is no small feat, let alone twice in the matter of months. According to Pop Crave, Good For You going number one was a historic moment. She made history by becoming the first female singer where two of her songs debuted at number one on Billboard's Global 200 singles chart. And if that wasn't enough, they also reported that the entire album Doer is projected to break the record for most streams for a debut album by a female artist in its first week with over 225 million streams. Do you believe the numbers? Well, you should because she really did that. And while she's thoroughly deserting every history making record that she's breaking right now, she still can't wrap her head around it. She took to Instagram when news broke that Good For You went number one, sharing a screenshot of the Hot 100 chart writing, Good For You is number one, I'm so happy, uh, I love you. Olivia also tagged her collaborators on the album and shared a photo of a crying cat that perfectly encapsulated her emotions over this news, and her fans were reacting to the amazing news that Olivia made history. One person tweeted writing, you're born to make history, ah. Uh. Another said, my gosh, first. So who's the inspiration for Rodrigo? Well, Olivia calls herself Swifty, the self-dubbed name for Taylor Swift fans. In May 2020, she gushed to build series SYD after Swift reposting her cover of the 2019 single Cruel Summer. In January 2021, according to Billboard, when Rodrigo's debut single Driver's License landed next to Swift's own Right Where You Left Me and It's Time To Go on the US iTunes chart, Rodrigo effused on Instagram, next to Taylor on the US iTunes chart, I'm a puddle of tears. As for Rodrigo's new single itself, Us Weekly speculated Driver's License, has enough lyrical easter eggs about an ex who is moving on for the fans of HSMTMTS to speculate that it was based off the long rumored but never confirmed love triangle between her co-star Joshua Bastet and alleged new girlfriend Sabrina Carpenter. Certain lines like, and you're probably with that blonde girl, who's always made me doubt, she's much older than me, she's everything I'm insecure about, do make you wonder. Carpenter is, after all, not only blonde, but also three years older than Rodrigo. Us Weekly noted, perhaps one day we'll learn about the truth. Fans of High School Musical, the musical, the series, were given a treat when star Olivia Rodrigo dropped her debut single, Driver's License, which appeared to have lyrics aimed at castmate and rumored former romantic partner Joshua Bassett. In the series, Rodrigo's character Nini Salazar Roberts is romantically linked to Ricky Bowen, portrayed by Barrett. As reported by E! Online, the duo were rumored to be involved in an off-screen romance in 2020. Now fans believe a lung triangle has formed between Rodrigo, Bassett, and singer-actress Sabrina Carpenter, who played Maya on the show Girl Meets World. There was one specific lyric on Driver's License that led listeners to believe Rodrigo had written songs about Bassett and Carpenter. Before releasing the official video, which has over 10.5 million views, a previous version of the song referenced a brunette girl, according to fans, but the singer changed it to That Belong Girl, which may think that is a jab at Carpenter. Olivia changed the lyrics from With That Brunette Girl to That Belong Girl, When I Tell You I Screamed Girl, I Screamed the Truth Queen. One fan tweeted, uh, Olivia Rodrigo really came for Joshua Bassett's neck with driver's license and I am living for it, another Twitter user wrote. We can surely say she's been heavily influenced by Taylor Swift. Her album Sour is the top ranking album in 10 countries, including the UK, US, Ireland, and Canada. Some fans were left wondering whether other artists like Lady Gaga and Cardi B also held the same records that Olivia just made. However, these artists had albums that climbed to number one. Rodrigo's hits Good For You and Driver's License debuted at number one. Incredible. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any amazing video from us.